Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Sharp EL531 XT scientific calculator. To do that we need to use the second function key that looks like this located here the pi key with the second function of degrees, radians, gradients conversion or angle conversion that looks like this located here the DRG or degrees, radians, gradients mode key that looks like this located here and the fraction key that looks like this located here this calculator lets us convert between degrees and radians in just a few button presses. For example, if we were given 45 degrees and wanted to convert that to radians, to do that, first what we want to do is make sure our calculator is set to the mode we are entering. So since we're going to be entering 45 degrees, we want to see DEG at the top of the screen here. If you don't see it, like on mine, where it says RAD, or radians, what you can do is press this DRG key until you see DEG at the top. There we go. It says DEG, so we're in degrees mode. Now we can enter our degrees, so 45. Now we can do our conversion, so we press second function, and then the angle conversion key, which is the second function of pi. And here we see our answer into radians, which is 0 0.7853, etc. Like that. But what if we want to get it in this format here? Well, there's a few steps that we have to go through. To do that, first, what we have to do is divide our answer by pi. So we go divided by pi press equals, and see we get 0 0.25, which we should recognize as the same as 1 over 4, but if we want to get it in that format, we can press the fraction key here. And we get a result of 1 over 4, which in this context is pi over 4. Another example, let's say we were given 180 degrees and want to convert that to radians. Again, we want to make sure we're set to degrees, which is what we're entering at the top. There we go. Now we can enter our 180. And then use the angle conversion key to get 180 degrees is equal to 3.1415, etc. radians. Now, this number should be familiar, but if it's not, we can divide it by pi and see we get an answer of 1, or pi. So 180 degrees is equal to pi. What if we want to take it the other way? Let's say we are given a value in radians format and want to convert that to degrees. Well, we start by making sure we're set to the mode we're entering, and you can see it's an RAD at the top, so we're good to start. We have pi over 4, so we can start by hitting the pi, then the fraction key, and then the 4. There we go. Pi over 4 is equal to 0 0.7853, etc., which we already found. And if we want to convert that to degrees, we can press the second function key and the angle convert key once to get to gradients. And if we do it again, we get our answer in degrees, which is 45 degrees, which we know is correct. And again, let's say we are given pi. Notice that our mode has changed, so we want to change this to radians mode. We do that by pressing the DRG key until we see RAD at the top. Next, we enter our pi. and then use the conversion, so second function, pi, there we go, and we see that's equal to 200 gradients, and if we do it again, we see we get 180 degrees. 
which we already know. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.